Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Nicole John of the Methodist Church, Kingston, Chatterbilly Circuit. Our reflection this morning comes from Corinthians chapter 5, reading from verse 20 to verse 21. So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters, in these two verses and previous verses, Paul was speaking to the church at Corinth regarding reconciliation. When we hear the word reconcile, we think of making up or coming together after a disagreement. It also means that we resume in a friendship. Paul was encouraging the church at Corinth to be reconciled to God. He was pointing out the importance of reconciliation to them. But they and us today could only be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Brothers and sisters, God loves us, that his wish is that none of us should perish, but that all of us could have eternal life. And so he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die so that we could be reconciled to him. My brothers and sisters, through sin, all of us were separated from God. But God is willing to be reconciled to us. And we as well ought to be willing to be reconciled to God. And so during this season of Lent, I want to encourage each of us to seek reconciliation with God and those who may have wronged us or who we may have wronged. We are called to seek reconciliation. Make the effort to reconcile our differences with others, whether it be a member of our family, a friend, a co-worker, or even a member of our church. My brothers and sisters, today we are more closer to that day of judgment than we were last year at this time, or even yesterday. And so I want to encourage each of us that if we have to be willing to be reconciled with God, we must be also willing to reconcile each with each other. And therefore, we have to be willing to reconcile with each other before it's too late. I encourage us to spend some time and ask the question, who in our lives do we need to be reconciled with today? And when that person comes to mind, make the effort to seek reconciliation with them. My brothers and sisters, today in our world, it can be a difficult task to have the spirit of forgiveness to those who may have harmed us. But if we are truly ambassadors for Christ, we will follow the example that Jesus Christ gave during his ministry on the earth. And so my brothers and sisters, May we seek this season of Lent to reconcile with God and with each other. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.